What's going on guys? I'm Jammer Hammer and today we got some Colonel Gearheart for you son. Um, so yeah, so there's a lot of rocket launchers and a crap ton of lasers. So I didn't really know how to attack this base. I wanted to try and zooka it down, but I was too concerned about the lasers. And a lot of people use zookas and absolutely destroy Colonel Gearheart. Except for the fact that they have a lot of GBE statues. That's something I don't have. So, I went ahead and for my first attack, I'm using warriors and I smoke them to this first RL and I'm trying to take out as many RLs, rocket launchers, so to speak, uh, as I can. So I go ahead and shock that puppy. Uh, those, it looks like I just got Oh, those four? Oh man, well I could have gotten those six, but it didn't matter because those other two are out of range. So, it looks like I'm doing pretty good progress. I'm able to take three out. Um, I should have been able to take out at least two more, and I was unsuccessful. Had I had more GBE, I could have easily taken out a lot of those rocket launchers. But anyway, so the second attack, I decide to use grenaders and medics. And let's throw them off to the right side and up from all the GBE that they gather, I'm just gonna take out as many rocket launchers as I possibly can. And not to mention, it helps taking down the HQ's hill uh, because I think it accounts for 70% of all the buildings together. Uh, so I don't know what the math is on that, but we're taking some, uh, some of the buildings out. So I'm just using all these grenaders and blowing up everything and that's actually got to be my favorite trick. Now, when it's time to clear my map, I don't like using grenaders because they die and they take way too long. The best troop to clear your map would be tank medics. That's by far the best troop to clear to clear pretty much anything. Um, unless a uh, base has got a bunch of cannons, boom cannons, stuff like that. But anyway, so I start to go ahead and flare the grenaders off to the left hand side. And it's time to go ahead and start destroying those rocket launchers. Uh, because once they start hitting, my grenaders can take only one rocket launcher's damage. Uh, they, I don't think they can take two. Uh, and two, they will just start killing my guys. Now see that those mortars are pretty devastating, especially if a rocket launcher is starting to hit. But we go ahead and take it out with the grenaders. Easy peasy, baby. Bada bing, bada boom. So then we take out this. Well, well I thought we were going to take it out. All I need is one more. Okay, there. Now we can take out that rocket launcher with the artillery shell. And we're just going to go ahead and clear up this area. Um, let's see. We're going to go ahead and start getting double hits on the rocket launcher and the crate in the back. So, yeah. So now this sniper tower is going to start taking out my troops. And well, we've lost quite a bit already. We've lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven troops already. Now, I'm gonna flare over here by the laser only to protect myself from those three rocket launchers. Because the three rocket launchers will kill my troops, will kill them a lot faster than the lasers and those um, cannons will. I probably should have dropped a critter on the cannons and I probably could have taken out a lot more uh, well, see, that's the problem with using critters and grenaders, is when you drop critters, your grenaders blow them up, and that sucks. Fortunately, you can drop the critters in front of whatever you're blowing up, and your grenades won't attack. So, we got pretty far with that attack. The next attack, I'm using riflemen, one boat of zookas, and two boats of medics, because there's just so many lasers. I wanted to use another boat of um, Zookas. And look at here, we're just able to take out these rocket launchers with just GBE only. And as you can tell, I don't have a lot of GBE in the beginning. And I didn't boost anything in the beginning because I don't, I'm saving all of my power powder. I'm saving all my power powder for much later in the game. Boom! What a perfect little artillery shot there. Now, Time to deploy these troops. I wanted to use more Zookas, like I was saying, but there's so many lasers, I felt like if I used another boat of Zookas and a laser hit, I don't want them all to die. 
I probably could have done the math a little bit better uh, and figured out if the lasers, if one laser would kill my Zookas, but uh, I didn't have time for that because it takes forever to take out General, General, Colonel Gearheart. So then we go ahead and flare to the far right back. So I'm out of range of the laser beams. And hopefully I can take out these shock launchers. Oh, and of course it takes out my stinking troops. Um, I probably need to use a heal. And I think I did. Yeah, I did. I used the heal while that shock launcher popped me and my troops. And as you can tell, I've lost uh, at 10 medics. Now I'm down to 3, so that's seven medics that's got destroyed by what? I don't know. Probably the boom cannons sucking up all the power. Uh, but anyway, so I'm trying to carve out a good little spot here so that my next attack, I can get far. But I wasn't able to carve that well of a little spot. So I'm gonna come back in with the same troop combo and see what I can do. Uh, hopefully I can knock out as many lasers as possible because those lasers will really, they're a devastating problem for me. So, I'm just going to, I'm gonna barrage this laser right here next to the machine gun, and that'll take care of all these little shock mines that I'm thinking la later in this attack um, that will probably affect my troops whenever I carve out a good little spot and then they're gonna start walking on those shock mines. I don't want that happening because then I will get destroyed very quickly. Now I smoked my troops because I got these lasers. I wanted to shock at least three of these lasers in a row and boom! I got four. I was able to shock four in a row and you can always shock four in a row. Now if it's one more space wider, I would not be able to do that. So, yeah, so I still have quite a, quite a bit of Zookas and I think that's what really helped in this attack. Now I probably need to, now I just lost a bunch of my Zookas because of the, uh, actually I don't know what killed me. It was either the mortars destroying my troops or the laser beam. And I've made a pretty good car Except for the fact now that there is no, there's a lot of boom cannons left, and there's still too many lasers. I don't know what to do. So I know that's a that's a good little shot there that I can use my artillery with. And I think what I'm going to do is, I think the best strategy after this point is to use tank medics. And I'm going to use a lot of medics this time compared to what I usually do because of the lasers. But I think we have enough GBE to take out these mortars and then drop my tanks because I'm using less. Uh, I went ahead and forgot about that one because that's not going to affect my troops at all. We're going to drop the tank medics, flare up to where all the tanks are going to get close to the boom cannon but not yet attack it because I want to stay clear of all those lasers. So we go ahead and shock that puppy and hopefully I'm able to do something. So I'm gonna drop crickers immediately. Boom, that worked out perfect. The laser beams may take a few out, but that boom cannon's not gonna get affected. Now we have a clear opening to hit this HQ. And, okay, so now we still got that boom cannon hit my tank. I don't know how many tanks it's gonna be able to take out. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that this base is gonna go down. Pretty positive. And yes. Finally, in the last attack, we took out Colonel Gearheart. Colonel Gearheart, you know I gotta say to you. We did that to you, Missy. We bombed your base, Missy. What do you got to say? What do you got to say to that, huh? Huh? We got skills, son. Okay, okay. So, until next week, I think Colonel Gerhardt, you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys later. Like and subscribe. I'll check you out later. Peace.